I'm solo trekking across the central highlands of Ecuador. I don't know much Spanish, and I'm not paying for translators, guides, or tours of any kind. I'm simply walking and stopping to meet locals to see how they live. Today I meet a friendly carpenter and a chochos factory manager. Walk with me to see the simplicity of slow traveling in foreign countries. Just stumbled on this shop on the side of the road. Talked to this man, he said I could video here for a minute. And look at what he's building. Look at that. Phenomenal craftsmanship and carpentry and the, the type of wood that he's using here. I presume kitchen cabinets of some sort. Oh, look at this, and he's even carving. Look at that. Wow. And he's got this whole workshop here. It smells incredible in here as well. Just all the different types of wood and... So glad I just pulled off on the side of the road to meet this man and see what he's working on. So we are leaving his workshop. He just took off his work coat and he's inviting me to show me some more artwork, I believe, that he's working on. At least that's my limited Spanish. So I'm just invited into his home and he has a home office here. And look at these frames that he carves and builds in that wood shop there. Absolutely beautiful work. And here's some picture frames, folding ones, boxes, and all sorts of different things. Look at this clock. Ah, it's so beautiful. I love meeting fellow craftsmen from other countries. Colleros, pararetes, manillas. Sí. Oh, qué bonita. Oh, qué rico. Look at that wood. It's so intricate, all by hand. Look at this mirror frame. Intricately carved wood, and then he uses uh, oil paints and acrylics to just go all the way around it. So I just stumbled upon the Chochos factory. This, La materia is, prima. this is a Chochos bean here. And this is where they uh, process the Chochos from all the farms around the surrounding villages. And some of the apparatus they have for it. Interesting. Oh wow, look at this. So they started the factory in 2003 from what I understand. See? Yeah, that's where it boils and all the steam goes up the vent. Oh wow, so they're just soaking in bags. Six days. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. See? Keeps coming down the way and finishes down here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, they use it for a lot of meals. I've been eating a lot of it, so it's fascinating seeing how it's actually processed from harvest to consumption. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I've seen. There you go, Chukchilan, that's where they... See? See. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I've seen seen those bags in the stores, and that's, yeah. that's where it's all made, right here. Sí. Yep. She was so friendly and welcoming, and I just said, uh, Mi español es muy poco. Uh, dice más despacio, por favor. You know, like it's really short. It's, I don't know a lot. Speak slowly. And she just smiled and welcomed me and gave me that little tour and told me how many they produce and they sell. It's interesting. Everything here 
is metric system, but they sell their food by the pound. So it's a dollar a pound for those churcho beans. And uh, yeah, it's fascinating just walking through a little factory. You never know, like instead of me taking a bus or a, a truck somewhere, I'm just walking around and popping in different places, seeing how things operate. Part of the joy of traveling. So there you have it. A touch of curiosity, a boost of self-confidence, and a friendly smile are the simple secrets of slow traveling in foreign countries. I believe traveling across borders is meaningless without truly meeting the locals. Do you agree? I'd love to hear your travel stories below. And as I saunter down the road, we're about to see village animals, shire-like trails, and the most picturesque mountain village I have ever seen. Leave a comment below, then keep trekking with me in my next video.